buying a drone for mapping don't hit that add to cart button just yet in this video we will go over seven key factors you need to consider before investing in a mapping drone so let's dive in factor number one camera quality let's start with the heart of drone mapping setup the camera you want at least a 20 megapixel sensor with a mechanical shutter why because blurry or distort images is equals to bad data also make sure the camera supports interval shooting or mapping specific modes we will discuss in details in our upcoming videos coming to the next factor it is accuracy if you need high accuracy maps like centimeter level precision your drone needs rtk or ppk capability rtk is real time great for fast workflows ppk is post processed more flexible in tough environments you can also achieve the accuracy using gcps in your project which we will cover in our upcoming videos factor number three flight time and coverage longer flight time is equals to fewer takeoffs and landing which is equals to more efficient mapping for most projects look for drones with 30 to 1 hour of flight time fixed wing drones are great for large area surveys while multi-rotor offers flexibility for tight or complex sites factor number four payload flexibility want to expand beyond standard rgb mapping choose a drone that supports swappable payloads the possible payloads are rgb camera which is a standard payload multispectral camera which is used in agricultural purpose thermal camera which is used in search and rescue solar panel inspections lidar camera which is used in elevation and forest mapping mapping needs can grow your drone should grow with them coming to the factor 5 it is software compatibility make sure your drones plays nice with mapping softwares like drone deploy Pix4D, WebRDM, DJI Terra, or AGI Soft MetaShape. Quick tip If your drone's image do not geotag correctly or are not compatible with your software, you will spend hours fixing things. Factor 6 Ease of use and automations. Look for drones that support automated flight planning and waypoint missions why it matters manual flying is risky and inconsistent automation gives you reliable repeatable results and it just easier last but not the least factor number seven budget versus need don't overspend don't undershoot either know your use case for examples if you're working in a construction site go for rtk and rgb if you're working in a farming add multispectral camera large landscape consider a fixed wing uav it's all about balancing feature with the jobs you actually plan to do there you have it the seven key factors to consider before buying a mapping drone got a questions or you have a specific use case drop it in the comment box i will try to help you to figure out the best drones for your need hit like and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching <laughs>